It's the Mopar episode! So we got a call in a couple cars that we gotta go look at. So we're headed out of town to check out... 68 Dodge Coronet and a 69 Dodge Dart. See what it's at. Looks like a good little project. Alright, sir, how are you doing? I just now covered the windshield up because what I was doing was this car has been a real long story. Alright. I bought all right. it a year ago in January. So I had a guy wanting to buy the dart. Yep. He said I want all the metal work done because I didn't want to touch the car because it was a good looking car. Yep. Paint wise, you know, it didn't look bad. I had a couple little bubbles popping up. And uh, he said, no, I want all the metal work done. And a friend of mine does metal work. So I took it over to his house. He did all the metal work. And what the deal was, I was going to give him $5,000 on this car for a pro street car he had. Yeah. In the meantime, my buddy that owns a paint shop had this one there and I inquired about it a, a long time ago and what happened with this one was a young kid brought it in and he wanted it restored but he wanted it done his way they painted the car bought dug headers for it his dad comes along and says why is my son's car the bill's getting too high yeah and he said here's the bill guys yeah. I ain't paying that he said you ain't getting a car so he pushed it out back in an impoundment area and left it with a car on cover and set there for six years and he called me up and he goes hey Jack if you want the Barracuda I'll make you a really good deal on it. They were fighting in court for six years. So in the meantime, when that was going on, I wasn't touching the car because I didn't know what, what we're going to do. Billy, I wind up getting this one back. I'm like, oh my God. And my wife says, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> so now I got them two projects along with her project. That crap. Well, in the meantime, my brother-in-law calls me out of California and says, I found the car you've always wanted. I said, what? He said, it's a 37 coupe there, but my wife's going to kill me. I can sell the cars if she ain't home. I can, yeah, make, you, I can make you a deal if she ain't home. Right. The alternator's not hooked up on it. I just now covered it up because you like it. Got all the photos over to the bike, and I think you're gonna like it. It's a very good, solid project, and for the money, you can't go wrong. Yeah. I don't know if it's Kentucky, also. That was just from yesterday to today. There's 11, yes. 11 people, and this guy wants me to call him right now, and I'm like, and then the other guy wants to stop tomorrow to look at both. So. Okay, but um, yeah, you know, I. Even if this didn't work out, maybe we can work out something in the future. And I... No. Yeah. All right, so that car was a no-go, unfortunately. So we're heading up to South Carolina, and hopefully the next car is good. It has been a lot of cars that have been bad lately. So it would be really nice to actually get one with us. All right, y'all, just woke up in South Carolina. Time to go look at this car, it's freezing cold. Not really freezing, it's 41. 
but it's cold enough. Let's go. We are about two minutes away from the car. This is a one owner car. He bought this car brand new in 68. How are you doing? Hey, hey. How's trip? Not bad, not bad. Sam, nice to meet Yo, you. Good to nice meet, meet you. you. And this is my wife, Priscilla. Pleasure, pleasure. <laughs> Good morning, Sam. Nice to meet you. Which is why you see spray paint all over the car. The moment paint ships off, he hits it with paint. All right. It's Morgan Dodge, Wichita Falls, uh, Texas, uh, uh, June 24th, 1968. This is all the um, uh, saved up warranties and things. Do you want uh, the uh, log books, uh, everything I ever put into it, every drop of oil, every... Uh, oh, wow. Oil, yes, please. That... It's only got 335000 on it now. <laughs> all I did was drive it to work and back. Keep it compulsively, uh, you know, oil changed. Uh, I was, I was uh, changing uh, oil at every uh, uh, 2,000 miles or two months, whichever came first. Okay. Well, what is the story now? Do, do you quit using it or...? Well, I, I got... Uh, basically... Um, uh, I, I, uh, I, I retired, I got myself a, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Renegade there, which reminds me of my 1947 Willys Overland, which was my first car. Okay. Uh, my, my Willys Overland. And, uh, I, and I, I mean, it just, <laughs> it just has somewhat the same feel, and, it, and that's all I wanted to drive now. Okay, stationed um, in Germany for, uh, uh, for nearly a year before going to Vietnam. And, uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, I, I put everything on, on blocks. Uh. I do. Every night I'd be terrified. I have an underground house if I lived in <laughs> The, the ground cable is the one I replaced. I've got the old one. I should have brought the old, the original down. Uh... Yeah. They're still like valves. In, in 1975, uh, they were uh, uh, $18 a piece. Yeah. It sounds like it just sounds like it's sucking. Now what? Bad. A bad one will practically uh, grab it out of your hand. And that, that's how you tell if you have uh, bad valves. You can, you see, your own you can work? see where he used to, to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I, I, I was a college that, uh, professor, so um, that's, um, uh, those, those are the places I went to college and where I taught at. What, what did you teach in college? Uh, my doctorate's in political science, and uh, I have master's degrees in history and philosophy, so I taught history, philosophy, political science, and PE. What, what is the best thing you can teach me? Best thing I can teach you? Be yourself. <laughs> my, uh, when I got back from Vietnam in 1968, uh, my uh, great uncle went to college, and he said, "Well, you'll need transportation." So he bought it for me. I was going to, I was going to use uh, all the money I'd saved up in the army to buy a car, but he yeah. said, well, "No, no, you need that to uh, go to school on." <laughs> <laughs> so, he, 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 so, yeah, so I call it Josephine after him, uh, Uncle Joe. <laughs> <laughs> what did his cost new? The price is on the, uh, should be on some Oh, probably in those paper, but, yes. Okay, but it's uh, $2,300. <laughs> brand new. <laughs> and that, that, money went that was $100 profit to uh, Morgan Dodge in Wichita Falls, Texas. Thousand, if you can double count that. Yeah. Only question I got, do, do you want to take a last test drive? Nope.
So we, we have a really nasty sound from the front right, probably a wheelbarrow going out, but we are in the middle of Jacksonville, traffic, are we gonna stop up here and hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, that sounds good. All right, so clearly. So what is it? So it was in a wheel bearing. Unfortunately, we have a new one right here. But it was the bolt for the brake caliper fell off. So the brake caliper I've been moving back and forward. And so we're putting everything back together. And we're not gonna find another bolt somewhere. <laughs> well, they didn't have it, so let's go to Rikes. Unfortunately, they are out of stock too. <laughs> but they maybe have something else. We see. Uh, Somebody must have it. All right, store number three. Hopefully they got it. Oh, they got it! So now we just need to put those on and then we're going home because I'm ready to celebrate Christmas. All right, let's tighten that up a little bit and then we're good to go. What a great car. This is a one owner, he has had it for 48 years. He has had his car longer than he has been married. Unfortunately, the son did not want to keep it because it's just too much to maintain an old classic car. And now it's going to Sweden. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one.